It is the first Pakistan tour of the West Indies since 2013, when they won a five-match ODI series 3-1 and swept a pair of T20 internationals. This will also be Pakistan's first test series in the Caribbean since a drawn two-match series in 2011. However, there was no announcement regarding any agreement for West Indies to travel to Pakistan to play a pair of T20 internationals in mid-March, despite recent discussions being held between the WICB and the PCB regarding a possible visit to Lahore. Such an agreement would need approval from the West Indies Players Association as well as security clearance, something that may be problematic after a report issued by FICA regarding players' safety and security strongly discouraged players from going to Lahore for the Pakistan Super League final confirmed for March 5. The Pakistan tour begins in Trinidad and Tobago, where the pair of T20 internationals will be played at the Queen's Park Oval from March 31. According to multiple sources, the WICB had explored the possibility of staging the T20 internationals at the Central Broward Regional Park in Lauderhill, the same Florida venue where West Indies played a pair of T20 internationals against India in August. Guyana will be the host country for all three ODIs beginning on April 7. The ODIs will be crucial heading into the September 2017 cutoff date for the 2019 ICC World Cup qualification. Pakistan are currently ranked 8th on the ICC ODI rankings table, the last automatic qualification spot with 89 points, while West Indies are 3 points behind them in 9th position with 86 points. If West Indies fail to get into the top 8 spots by September, they must participate in the 2018 ICC World Cup qualifier. That tournament is currently scheduled to be held in Bangladesh, although that may change if Bangladesh, currently ranked 7th with 91 points, gain automatic qualification. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avanash Ramzan.